Hello, everyone. Hello. Can everyone hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so. Uh, why everyone is logging on. First, I wanna say welcome, welcome. Welcome to the BYOB Cash Out, HFX Simplified. We'll get started in a few minutes. Why everybody is logging on, don't forget about your affirmations. Don't forget the affirmations. So. But why people are logging on, um, I will address some of the people that we have that are currently on and ready to get started. So I will be getting my screens ready, but let's acknowledge some people that we have, why people are con uh, continuing to join. First, I wanna say welcome everyone to the BYOB Cash Out HFX Simplified. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're going to say welcome to, we have Minnesota, we have Myanmar, Florida, we have, I like that, great win, win Wednesday from Cleveland, Ohio. There we go. All right. We also have Stephanie. We have another person from Cleveland, California, Claremont on the line, London, Jacksonville. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Don't forget your affirmations in the chat. Don't forget your affirmations. So we will be getting started soon. Let me go ahead and pull up my screens. And before I get started, I just want to know if our visionary had anything to say before we got started. Mr. Rogers. And first of all, I wanna uh, help each and every one of you. Thank you for making uh, this day a ma magnificent day, uh, International BYB Cash Out Day on behalf of celebrating the trade whisper and her birthday. And I I'm just so excited that many of you had the opportunity to have your $100 plus days and the best is yet to come. Uh, and you are in for a treat tonight. So with that being said, we welcome you to the movement, to the family. And we are now in the hands of someone who's tremendously qualified and capable uh, the trading diva herself, the HFX sniper, none other than Ms. Bonita Brantley. Ms. Brantley, back to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, everyone, before we get started, like I said, we acknowledge some people that's on the phone because this is BYOB Cash Out HFX Simplified. And we're also BYOB Worldwide, which is also amazing. But let's start off with some affirmations because we don't want to start anything without affirmations. So our first affirmations that I love and I always want to go through and always want to say is, I am an educated BYOB master trader, anointed for wealth on my trades and in profit, right? So we wanna get all that in there. I am the signal, always important because that's what we are. And Ms. Dyer has been teaching us for a while to be the signal. So that's one that we always, and of course, as always, an educated trader is, all, is a profitable trader. But I want to add something else too. Another affirmation that I feel like we do need, not just when it comes to trading, but when it comes to everyday life and things that you are doing, especially when it comes to our business. There's different areas in our business that we like to improve. So I always want to say this is, I am a bold and confident BYOB wealthy woman. And if you are a man, just put, wealthy man. So with that being said, let's get started. So now we have a lot of people 
um, as I went on. Last week, we had a lot of people on a call, everybody excited, but we had a lot of people that were new to what HFX is. A lot of people who probably never heard of it or just or just started hearing about it and are interested in it. Some people probably traded with it and some people probably haven't at the moment. But I want to first lay down a foundation. Let's lay down a foundation on HFX, what it is and what it's about and how we can trade with it. Cause I feel like everything we do, like Ms. Dyer always say is in excellence. So how about we start off with laying down a foundation on what HFX is, then just go into building from there. Because when we start trading and you're in the market, I want you to be successful. I want you to profit on all your trades, but I also want you to be educated on what you are doing. So I know right now in the business, HFX is like pretty popular right now, right? And everybody's like excited because you get to make your money in minutes. Who wouldn't be excited about that, right? I know I'm excited about that, but let's just get, let's get to know what is binary options? How do we trade with the binary options? So that is what we're gonna begin this call with a foundation. So no matter if you already have been trading, no matter if you just started, this is a great call to be on so we can get that foundation and we can have something to stand on. I also wanna to say too, is of course our finance doctor, our finance doctor did a two part series on this as well. So go and check the BYOB YouTube page and you can also listen to what he said because he broke it down as well. Whereas I feel anybody could understand what binary options is, the history of it and how it began. So I will also say after this call, if you haven't went to the BYOB page on um, the YouTube page to listen to our very own Dr. B, finance doctor on options, I would say go back and listen to that because it's a two-part series. And maybe you did listen to it. I would say listen to it again as a refresher. So with that being said, let's get started. So what I have in front of you guys, and I, I believe everybody can see my screen at the moment. Um, so please <laughs> let me know if you can see that. Uh, say something, put it in the chat, a one, 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 or you can see. Um, but to me, I think uh, everyone can see. Okay, great. So before we get started on this presentation, thank you so much. Um, I just want to put in here, so we I won't lose everybody, is... All my one one ones. If this is your first time on the call or your first time trading and you want more information on this, put that in the chat. And for all my two two twos who've been trading and been cashing out but want to be an expert, that master trader when it comes to the HFX, put the two two twos in there because I know we got some of those. All right. Okay. So. Let's get started. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate it. So let's get started on what we have. So our first thing is our BYOB. Uh oh, sorry about that. Our BYOB cash cash out HFX simplify our basics. Okay. So when it comes to the binary options, binary options are contracts in which the payout will depend on a yes or no outcome. It's just dry, cut and dry, yes or no. And then you have the H, the high frequency Forex, and that's where the HFX, that's what it stands for. We always abbreviate HFX, high frequency Forex. It is characterized by high speeds and high turnovers. The key attributes are specialized order types and very short term. And that's one of the things that we like. We, as I should say, a lot of us scalpers, or as the scalper and not in this club, as Ms. Dyer will always say, we like the things that are short term, right? So you have some different types. You have the, uh, you have the tradition, uh, the uh, traditional options that have an expiration range of a week to a couple of years. Then you have your binary options have an expiration range of less than a minute to a few days. 
Yes, I said less than a minute to a few days. So these variations are the biggest difference on how profitable the trade is calculated. And again, I know we mentioned before, high frequency trading is fast, is quick. And for the, your, your personality and how you are uh, depends on the type of trader you want to be. But as a BYOBer, because that's what we are, BYOBers, we have options. We have options on what we want to trade and how we want to trade all depends on your personality. So when it comes to this, you have the broker will pay a percentage of the premium at risk if the conditions are met. And that's anything, that's, in, that's, that's also like in our regular trading, what we also call sometimes as the classic trading, you know, the broker always get their percentage. There's no different in this either. So you have a predetermined fixed profit regardless of how far the market moves beyond the price. Binary options are all or nothing. One pip or a thousand pips, the payout is the same, all right? So, and we will go more into that too, but, you know, like I said, to some people, you know, they like what they're getting into and they like to know, you know, they're able to measure their risk a little bit better versus others, you know, there's what I call the classic trading, I feel like it's just a little bit more work you have to do when it comes to your risk management on the calculations. But let's talk about how to trade HFX, right? So you have two options. You have the call option and then you have the put option, okay? So they made it really clear for us though. So even if you just happen to, you know, oh my God, I can't remember the call and the put. And then it depends on your broker, you know, whether they have call or put. The great thing about it is we have the green and we have the red. So just like the classic trading, when we look at the candles for the Hikanashi, we have the green for buy and we have the red for sale. Well, this is the same thing. You have the call option, okay? That is a trade when you expect the price to go up. You profit if the price goes up by the time the trade expires, all right? So we did a little bit of that the last on our last call, all right? And Maria, I'll get that to you soon, okay? We did a little bit of that our last call as far as the call and as far as the pip, uh, the put, okay? So we put the trade in and when you put the trade in, it gives like a, a line to know where you went in on that trade, all right? So in this case, like it says, for a call, a trade when you expect the price to go up, you profit if the price goes up and by the time the trade expires, then we are gonna profit on that trade. Why? Because we profit on all our trades. So that's what we do. That's what we do as BYOBers. We profit on all our trades. All right, so let's talk about a put, right? We have the option of a put. A trade when you expect a price to go down. You profit if the price goes down by the time the trade expires, all right? So again, when you put your trade in, it gives you a marker, all right, on where you are at in that trade. So if it's a put or a sell, then it will show you where you are in that trade. And you have to make sure, well, you can always look to see where you are in that trade. And it will let you know if you're going to profit on that trade or not, all right? So the call option and the put Again, that's equivalent to the buy and sell, and then the colors of red and green, all right? So let's see what else this has to offer when it comes to our HFX. All right, so then let's talk about when trading HFX, you have the binary options and have a premium strike price and expiration. So 
we experienced some of this last week and we talked about a few things last week, okay? So the strike price is the price you decide to enter the trade. The premium is the broker payout. For example, it could be 79%, et cetera. The expiration is the time it takes for the trade to expire. The one minute, the three minute, or the five minute. Again, that is personal preference. So let me elaborate a little bit on all three of those because I do feel that it is important that you know um, what you are doing when you are in this trade. So this is how it differs a little bit when it comes to the um, what we call classic trading versus um, HFX. So where it says this, the strike price, it says the price you decide to enter the trade, is up to you on what you want to place your trade at, okay? It has, it can vary from $1 to 200 300 $500. Again, it's up to you on what you feel your personal preference is when it comes to trading. But the thing is, you know what you're going in at, right? You have the price on what you're getting into the trade with, and that is what they call your strike price. Now, where we have the premium, when you go into the broker, each pair have a percentage next to it, all right? And as we say, when we're trading um, for HFX, we wanna be at least at 50%. 50% or higher because we're trading to make money, right? We're not trading to make pennies, we're trading to make money. So in this particular case, it has an example of 79% and et cetera. So when you pick on that particular pair and it has the percentage next to it, that is what they're calling as far as the broker payout. Now let's talk about the expiration, all right? When it comes to expiration, again, personal preference. When you get into starting to trade, we all have our sweet spot on what we think is best for us. And that's another great thing I like about HFX because we have options, you know? Whether I wanna have a one minute, three minute, I have options. It is great when you have options. So you have the, um, an option to pick an expiration time that suits you when it comes to your trade, all right? And that's important. You want to set an expiration time because at least when you are studying and when you are into that trade, you have an idea on when to get in and when you wanna get out of that trade. So we'll have more information on that as well. So here is an example of what we were talking about as far as the, the payout goes. So if you haven't dived into the broker right now, and if you haven't traded with HFX, like I said, you have a minimum of, uh, I'm not gonna say minimum, I'm sorry. We prefer you start off with at least 50% when it comes to your trade. So this is an example of what we're talking about as far as an expiration price is above the strike price and the money. So let's just say you started your trade with $100, okay? $100 trade, all right? And then you see here, it says stake by times 79%, the broker payout is $79. So we analyze our trade, right, on the vibrata and we're ready to get into that trade. And we get in with $100, and that particular pair is at 79%. So when we pretty much win that trade, because we win all our trades, we're going to profit $179, all right? Our gain is $179 on that trade. So I want to reiterate again, when you are trading HFX, you have an option, you have a choice to choose what you wanna start your trade off with, all right? And then you also can pick the broker, and that's, I'm sorry, not the broker, but the pair that you wanna trade with. And you always wanna pick the pair that has um, a lot of volume when you are analyzing your trade on, on the vibrata, but I always wanna say again, 
50% or above is always great, all right? I'm gonna say it one more time. 50% when you are choosing your pair or higher would be a good thing. So let's talk about the next bullet point where it says expiration price is below the strike price out the money. So hypothetically, let's just say you analyze your trade and whatever the case may be, it decides to go the opposite direction. Then you will be out of your pocket $100. So you can never lose more than you stake, right? So you knew that when you decided to go into that trade, that you was going to start that trade out with $100. So you were comfortable with that $100 trade. You knew your risk management. And if it go in favor of the way that you want it to go, then you will profit $179. And if things happen to go the other way, which it does happen, especially if you have the news, things that's unexpected, then you will be out of your pocket $100, okay? So let's see what we have next. All right, so, and I'm gonna go through this again. And like I said, again, so for the BYOB cash out HFX simplifier, all right, we have simplified this <laughs> just like we do everything else. The cash out strategy is amazing when you're doing your classic trade. And now we have also simplified it when it came to, when it comes to the HFX. So you determine the direction and time expiration. Always use proper analysis and the BYOB cash out strategy. You determine your risk and you determine your profit payout up front. And this is what I've been explaining to you, right? Because I've BYO beers that we are and the master traders that we are, we always want to use risk management, okay? We always want to go into the trade with the right mindset. We always want to go into the trade by analyzing the trade first on, a B, on the vibrata by using the BYOB cash out strategy, all right? So the BYOB cash out strategy is great on all platforms. And I am so grateful for the Trade Whisperer with teaching us this strategy and being able to use this strategy on different tools and, and other platforms that I am have to offer. So you determine your profit payout up front, right? So this is a great and amazing thing I like about HFX because again, you know, like Ms. Dyer always said, you know, this is the month of our $100 plus days, right? So therefore, if you want to get into HFX and you just start and you say, you know, I'm an I'm a, I'm a HFX trader, I'm a master trader, I'm going to go in here with bold and confidence and I'm going to dominate these charts. I'm going to make my $100 today, right? You can go in here and determine what, how much I want to start my trade off with and what do I need to do to get to my $100 by looking at the percentages, all right? So with well, all that being said, do we have any questions in the chat? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch my screen so I'll be able to go over the BYOB cash out strategy and why I am doing that. I just want to see if we have any questions regarding anything that we've seen today um, when it comes to the slide and then we can continue to go uh, move forward. So let me know. I will be checking the chat for any questions that we have. Oh, let me stop this. Uh, let me minimize that. Give me a moment here. And let me get here. Let me move this down. All right. All right. Okay. So let's see. I know someone asked about where could they find it. So is everyone uh, subscribed to the BYOB? Um, YouTube page. I hope everyone is because again, there's some great trainings on there and um, everything um, that we are currently doing is on 
that particular um, YouTube page. So everything is recorded. Everything is, um, so if you miss something, you can go back and you can um, take your time and take your notes and go back and listen to it. Cause that's what I did. Uh, when Dr. B did his two day series, I went through everything and I made sure that I understood what he was talking about because that was new to me back then. And now, as, as Ms. Dyer would say, I'm an expert. That's what I am. I'm a master trader. I'm a BYOB or I am a wealthy woman. See, you get to learn these affirmations. You get to learn them. Okay, so let's get started. Let's talk about the BYOB cash out strategy. The strategy the trade whisper had created that I am very grateful for. Um, and I just want to make sure that everybody can see my screen, be able to see this. I did some maneuvering. Um, I'm also on uh -oh, a new device as well. And I just want to make sure everybody is able to see my screen and what I am currently doing. So if you can put it in the chat, yes, you can see. That would be great. Still see the slides. Okay. Give me one second. So that is back here somewhere. So let me just close that out. So one second, everyone. Let me get back to where I need to be. Okay, how about that? Does everybody can see? Uh oh. Right now I am on the web analyzer. Can everybody see that? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's talk about the BYOB cash out HF. Uh, I must say, I'm about to say the HFX strategy. <laughs> We're not talking about that. We're talking about the BYOB cash out strategy. Let's talk about that because it looks like there's some things that's been going on. And I want to make sure that um, everybody can see what is going on. All right. So let's talk about what we currently have in front of us. And before I start this, I want to say that, you know, our, edu our other educator, also known as Master P, Ms. Anderson, who did the basics, she did an amazing job on Tuesday, letting us know, you know, the basics of when it comes to trading and breaking everything down for us as far as the buy and as far as the sale and the indicators and all of that great stuff. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of my two cents on what is the BYOB cash out strategy. So, um, and again, if you want to go back and listen to Ms. Anderson um, recordings on what she does, you're more than welcome to do that too, again, on our BYOB um, YouTube page. So let's get started on what, I, what we are currently looking at. And right now, I am on a three-minute um, time frame when I'm doing the BYOB cash out. Now, I do want to specify and do want to put it out here, all right? When it comes to the BYOB um, cash out strategy, all right, you normally would do that on the 15 minutes, okay, especially if you're just learning that strategy, because you do it for the 15 minutes, what I call for the classic trading, you get your 10 pips and then you cash out. So the reason why I am currently showing you on the three minutes is because when I am currently trading or any of you who will be currently trading, we're doing a three minute um, or even the five minute when it comes to the HFX. I still want you to be able to use that strategy no matter what time frame that you are using. So whether it's a one minute, three minute, five minute, 15 minute, you know, I want you to be able to pull up the chart and be able to analyze it and know what you're looking at. So this strategy is amazing, like I said before, not just for you know the vibrata for everything else, but you're able to analyze it no matter what time frame that you're on. All right. So don't think that okay, the 15 minute is the only one that I'm able to analyze it on, but no, you're also able to analyze it 
on lower time frames. And because this is an HFX call, I want you guys to be able to look at the strategy when it's on the lower time frames as well. Because again, we are master traders, right? I am a master trader. Or you can even put, I am an HFX master trader. Why? Because you're on an HFX call. That's what this is all about, HFX. Yeah, I'm being a little biased right now. I am. I'm being a little biased. Okay, so let's get started when it comes to this strategy, all right? So what we're currently looking at, we're going to go with, uh, we're going to first start off with a buy, all right? When you are looking at the charts and you're analyzing the chart and you're using the BYOB cash off strategy, we're going to first look at a buy. And the first thing that we look at when it comes to the buy is we look at the stochastic, all right, which is down here, right? If you can see my cursor, we look down here. And for a buy, what we do is we have over here, you want to be at or near the 20, which is down here, all right? You have the blue line crosses the red at or near the 20. That's what we want to look at first when we are looking for a buy. Um, and then the next thing we want to look at are we have our Hikinashi candles. So we have a green, which right here is a Hikinashi candle for a buy. And then we have a red for a sale. Well, we're focusing on the buy right now. So when we look at this, we see that it's a buy and we have a flat bottom candle, which is important because that is when we want to get in. Um, and also you see the PSAR. That's our under indicator right there. So when a PSAR flip and is underneath the candle, okay, for a buy. And then if you look down here, we have the blue line crosses the red. So what I'm going to do, so everybody can see what I'm looking at, um, get a, ver a better visual, I am going to put a line so you can see what I'm talking about, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, this is where it crossed. Actually, it crossed back here, but it wasn't ready. This is where it crossed. As you can see, the blue line crosses the red. It crossed right here, but it wasn't ready for us until the PSAR flipped, which is, you see the star right here, in the flat bottom. So this is where I'm going to put my line. Right. Okay. Put the line right there. And then let me go to my arrow. I'm going to put an arrow here too, because this is what I want you guys to see. So you see. Oh. Let's see. Okay. And this is what I want you to see. The PSAR, which are these dots. Okay. These are the dots. And then you see the flat candle. All right. At the bottom, there's no wick. That is what we're talking about when we say the candle has to be flat at the bottom. There's no wick at the bottom. So that is an indication right here that it's a great lineup for a buy. It started right here. The blue line crosses the red. I'm sorry, everything keep getting in the way. And then we have our green candle, flat bottom, and we have the PSAR slip, uh, flip. So again, it's called the parabolic stop and reversal. And that is also known as the PSAR and it flipped. So let's talk about a sale, okay? So since we're right here, we're also gonna talk about the sale. So when I come over here, right? This is a group one right here. The sale, we have almost the same, but it's the opposite is what I call. You have the, uh, the stochastic at the top. It has to be at or around the 80. Like the buy has to be at or around the 20. The sale has to be at or around the 20. The stochastic, when you have the blue line crosses the um, red at a downward momentum, that is what we look at first. So when we talk about a buy, it has to be an upward momentum. The blue line crossed the red. And then when we're talking about a sale, it has to be near or around the 80. And it has to be the blue line crosses the red at a downward momentum. All right. So that's what we got going on here. Now we want to see where we have the candle. The candle, it has to be red when we're talking for a sale. 
and not just a candle being red, but it has to have a flat top. That's another thing you want to look at, a flat top when it comes to the candle. And the PSAR is at the top, okay? So you see for the, for the buy, the PSAR is on the bottom, right? And then, like I said, it's called parabolic stop and reversal. So now it reversed. It reversed when the trend changed. And now it's at the top for the sale. So one thing you want to do, I'm going to put a line here. I'm gonna put this a different color though, just so we can see that a little later. Um, so I'm gonna put that one in white, all right? So, and then I'm also gonna put an arrow there too, just so, just for visuals is what I wanna say. So we do, we put the arrows and we put our lines for visuals. So you guys are able to see what we're talking about. So we have this top of the candle is flat. So you wanna have a top, uh, a flat top, and you wanna have the piece at the top. No wicks at the top, okay? This is why we say flat. So for the sale, all right? I'm gonna go over this again. For the sale, you wanna make sure that the stochastic is at the top, it is at or around the 80. And then you wanna make sure that it is, the blue crosses the red in a downward momentum. And you want to make sure the candle has a flat top and the candle is red and the PSR has flipped. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see the actual PSR. There we go. Okay, there we go. So that is our buy and that is our sale. So the next thing that we want to look at, all right, and we want to make sure that everything is accurate. We want to look at the confluence. We want to make sure everything is confluent before we get into the trade. And that is very important when it comes to HFX. But not just HFX, that's important when it comes to the classic trading and everything that we do, because that helps us um, when it's time to get into the trade, to see if we should get into the trade at that particular time. That is what the confluence do. It helps us analyze the chart to see when is a good time to get into that trade? And when you're trading with HFX, it's really important that we get in because the timing thing and everything is really quick when it comes to HFX. So we wanna make sure that we do it correctly. So when I'm trading on the three minute, right? For HFX, my confluence time is one minute and 15, all right? When I am trading on the three. All right. And if you're trading on the five minute, it's going to be the one minute and it's going to be the 30. So three minute, I'm going to drop down to my one. All right. And we have them here. OK, so for the buy, again, you want to make sure that it's still buying when you drop down to the one minute. All right. And it is it is. We still have a blue candle. We still have the piece of our flip and it's in a upward momentum, all right? So it was good on the one minute for the buy. Now let's go over here and let's check the sale. All right, for the sale, we wanna make sure that it's doing the same thing that it was doing before. We wanna make sure that it's confluent and that it's still selling. And that's what it's still doing. It is the candle is still red, the piece of our still flipped and the momentum is still going down. So as of right now, we're doing really good. Everything is flowing so far. Let's see what's going to happen on the 15 minute. All right. So on our 15, all right. <laughs> it's almost kind of like the opposite on our 15, but it's getting there. So on our 15, you may have to wait just a, a few more minutes on our um, confluent for the buy because we have this candle here, but this candle and uh, let me just move it over so you can see the type of candle. So for this type of candle, it's basically letting us know that it is going to be a change in the market, okay? That candle is letting us know that, okay, it may change to um, the buy or it may say the same, but for the most part, when you see that candle, it will change. And in this case, our next candle is a buy. It's, it's green, the P star is still at the bottom 
And when we look down here, this is in the middle, right? So for HFX, this is something that we have to wait just a few more minutes to get into to make sure that this is confluent for the buy. Now for the sale, it seems like it's doing the same thing, right? I'm gonna move this over too, so you can see. All right, and this is called a doji candle, by the way. But this is doing the same thing, you know? Um, you have this one, then you have that one, and then it goes into the sale. But it didn't flip right away. It didn't flip into here. So for the sale, we would have to, we, I, would, to I would say we would just wait just a little bit longer for the sale to be a cautious trader and to trade with ease because one, the piece are just flipped, but this is not the candle that we're looking for. We can't say this candle because the piece are having flipped. But on here, oh, well, look at there. Isn't that something? See, it can go from green, it can go to red. Um, so then we will have to wait and see what it will do for the sale, okay? So let me just move this back over here. All right, so that is our BYOB cash out strategy, all right? And that is when you are trading um, HFX. If you did try to do the three minute or if you try to do the five minute, when it comes to HFX, again, that's personal preference. But the thing is, you want to make sure that no matter what time frame you're on, you're able to analyze that chart by using the BYOB cash out strategy, okay? So for anybody that's, anybody on here that's new, um, who is probably still learning this strategy, I'm hoping that you know there's some clarification on that and um, you'll be able to, you know, be able to trade a little bit better. So I'm gonna take this off because now we're gonna go into something a little bit more different. And I'm going over all of this to lay a foundation down. So when you start to trade, you know, we have what I wanna call the basics. We have all this out the way. We know how to do it. We know how to analyze this strategy. So when you're trading is best that you go over, you know, over all, all the rules when it comes to trading. So again, you want to, for HFX, you want to analyze your chart by using the BYOB cash out strategy before you go into the broker, uh, the broker and be able to trade. And again, Yes, we are taught the BYOB cash out strategy on the 15 minute, and we are taught on how to cash out using 10 pips, 10 pips and cashing out. That is, I would say, the basic um, foundation when learning how to use the BYOB cash out strategy when you're first learning. And then as you continue to learn, then we go into our support and resistance lines. And that's what we're getting ready to go over right now. Our support and resistance lines are important with all when you're trading, no matter if you're doing classic trading or HFX trading, it's important to know our support and resistance time, um, our lines. So, um, so I wanna make sure that everybody is able to know how to draw the lines and analyze your chart with the support and resistance. Also, um, before we go into support and resistance lines, I know Ms. Dyer for this whole past month, the past few months actually, been you know challenging us to go to the um, harmonic scanner you know, to also help you with support and resistance lines on doing that for our homework. Um, I also know that Ms. Dyer also um, use our indicator, the pivots. Pivots also can help you with your support and resistance lines um, as well. So what I like to do, and like everybody, all the educators, we use our support and resistance lines and you can also use pivots too. And sometimes I like to use the pivots to like a confirmation to see, you know, oh my gosh, you know, how good did I do my support and resistance lines? You know, was I close to the pivot pivots? You know, because pivots are support and resistance lines too. So, you know, it makes me proud to know that I've been practicing, yes, you know, and my lines are on point. So 
Um, when I started doing my support and resistance lines, and what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to do support and resistance lines. And I am going to do it on a one hour time frame. But before I go into that, let me just check the chat see if there's any questions before we go into support and resistance lines. All right. So when it comes to the broker, it's just like anything else and everything and everybody, you know, that we've been talking about in our past, not just with, you know, the classic trading. It's up to you on what broker you decide to use. You have to go and decide which one you think best fits you when it comes to HFX. Um, trading. Um, but what I can say is just make sure you use a broker who does the binary options because I don't think every, bro every broker does. So that's something you want to make sure that when you pick your broker, it does the binary options. Okay. Uh, let's see. What time frame can you use and the time frame to use for, to kind, for the confluence? All right. So when it comes to your time frame confluence, it really depends on what time frame you're trading on to know what um, your confluence is going to be. Because you have to factor in your time by four, five, and six. So when we are trading, when it comes to the classic trading, we always start our trades on the 15 minute. So therefore we look back at the five and then we go to the hour, the one hour for a time frame confluence. Um, so when it comes to, if you decide to use three minutes, when it comes to the HFX, you will go down to the one minute and then you'll do the 15 um, minute for your time frame confluence. Okay. So um, as far as the PSAR, does it flip faster on the web analyzer? Uh, well, all we use is a web analyzer, the vibrata. So I'm not sure, you know, when you say does it flip faster, I'm not sure what you're comparing it to. But what I will say is that, you know, I feel like it moves in a, in a great time uh, for us to go ahead and, and place our trades. So let's get started. Uh, where are we? All right, so let's start the support and resistance lines and um, let's do this on a one hour. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna start it on a one hour and then I wanna break it down into our uh, three minute and five minute time frames to see what it will look like on there. So what I wanna say is when I started um, using my support and resistance lines, which has been quite some time now, but I did it the way Ms. Dyer trained us to do it. Ms. Dyer said, hey, if you're not able to eyeball it, you know, then use the line charts to help you with the support and resistance line. So that's what I did. And this is what I'm gonna show you guys now. So on the one hour we're using, um, I'm gonna to go to the one hour, which I am currently on. And I am going to change this to the line. Okay. So for the line chart, right? To me, I feel like when you look at the line chart, oh my God, it was like, oh, I was like, oh my God, it, it simplified it even more. Just like the B that had the HFX simplified, I feel like looking at this line chart is simplified it some more when it came to the support and resistance lines. I was like, oh, okay, then that makes sense. So when you look at the support, I mean, when you look at this line to do your support and resistance line, you want to make sure that you have three or more touches, okay? So let me change this to our horizontal line. All right, three or more touches, right? So right here, there is some touches there. But when you come down and um, hold on, where we are. Well, first, let me do this. Before we go up here, because see, that's where my eyes went to first. I was like, oh my God, it's right there. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you wanna know where you at in the trade, right? Like where the trade is, like we're currently right here. All right. So what I, you know, like to do, and it, and again, when it comes to support and resistance line, you have to um, pretty much work with it to see what best fits you when it comes to your trading. All right. So this is something that I like to do. I like to use the line chart. I like to do two above and two below. You know, depending on which way the market is going to go, is it going to go into a buy? Is it going to go into a sale? I want to make sure that my lines are there. So I am going to keep this one, but what I am going to do is I'm going to bring it down just a little bit because I feel like that might be just two touches. But I feel like right here, if you look, you see the peaks? 
So you can call them peaks, some people might call them points, but right here is touching, right there is touching, and right here is touching, okay? All three of those parts right there, they are touching, right? So then I'm gonna do another line. And I'm gonna do one right underneath it, a little bit underneath it, because we have some points right here. They're touching as well. So now we're right here, okay? And see, these are straight lines. So this looked like it was a drop, and this looked like it was going up. So from right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a line right here, because I have some touches right here. There's some points right there. So I'm gonna put another one right here, okay? And I'm gonna move this in just a little bit. Yeah, wow, isn't that something? See, look guys, you have some points right here. And then if you look across, look left, we always gotta look left in this business. You have more touches right there, okay? So I'm gonna keep those for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back to our Higanashi candles. All right, here we are on a Hikinashi. We're back to our candles and this is what it looked like. All right, I feel like those are really good. Okay, and, we, uh, and always, you can always put more support and resistance lines. But now what I wanna do is I wanna drop down and let's see, I wanna also pay attention to time. So I wanna drop down to the three minute real quick. All right, because this is where we're gonna be doing our, our trades. And we see how I'm gonna keep those there, but again, this is where we currently at in this trade. So therefore I'm going to add another one, which again, right now I'm eyeballing it, but let's look and see what it looks like on the line chart for the three minute. And again, here are all those touches, right? these touches right there, and then we have some touches here, okay? So let me go back to the Higanashi candles. Okay, and now what I wanna do is I wanna zoom in. Let's zoom in a little bit, because now when you zoom in, you get a clearer picture on what you're doing and if you need to adjust your lines, okay? Because you may need to adjust your lines to uh, make sure that you know everything is in the right place before you get to your trade. Okay. So what I'm going to do, since we're up here, this is where we currently are in our trade. I'm just gonna add in one more and I'm gonna put one right here in the middle because we have a lot going on, a lot of activity right there in the middle, okay? All right, so right now, you know, for all the ones who's looking at this, you see that this was in a buy right here. It went all the way up. And right now, it looked like it may go into a correction or a consolidation going sideways. It's still thinking about what it wants to do. But if it happens to go down, we do have our support and resistance lines here because it's only at the top. So if you want it, and again, if you are not sure, let's just say, yeah, it may go into consolidation, it may go cross, and then it may come down just a little bit, and then it may go back up. But if you want to draw more support in the resistance lines for a buy, because you feel like, oh no, this is going to go up, then let's put one right here, okay? because it's already touching here. We have two touches here, which is a total of three. And then look left. And of course it touched all the way through there. Okay. All right. So I am going to, of course, pick up where we left off on our next on our next call with the support and resistance on how we can trade HFX with that support and resistance lines, how we can get a, um, a tighter entry to get into the trade. So today was just a foundation call. Today was letting everybody know on 
what is HFX? What is the binary options? Going over the BYOB cash out strategy for anyone on here who may not be sure on how to use the cash out strategy, whether you're on the 15 minute time frame or maybe you're on a uh, three minute time frame, how you can look at the chart and be able to use that strategy no matter what time frame you're on. And I wanted to go over an introductory part when it comes to doing your support and resistance lines as well. So by using a line chart on a higher time frame and then breaking it down to the lower time frames. And again, when it comes to HFX, it's your personal preference, it's your sweet spot. Whether you decide to trade on a three minute to five minute, you know, 15 minute, however, is your choice. But the thing is, I wanna make sure you're able to analyze the chart correctly. Look at that chart no matter what time frame and be able to analyze it by using the BYOB cash out and at least drawing your support and resistance line. So I just went over the introductory part of the support and resistance lines. Continue to do your homework as Ms. Dyer always said. Go to Harmonic Scanner. You should hope to do the um, Use those lines to, for your support and resistance lines because they will help, not just help you with support and resistance lines, but it will also help you be a better trader as well. Learn how to use different tools, you know, that we have, you know, I am have quite a few tools. And so let's be able to learn other tools to be able to be a master trader that we are so we could, um, be a better trader, you know, get more trades, you know, be able to use different platforms and still win. So, uh, but the Vibrata, the web analyzer, that's our home. We bring everything back to the web analyzer. You get your points on the harmonic and you bring it back to the web analyzer and you analyze it and then you go in your trade. <laughs> that's pretty much how we do it here. So um, I'm looking at the chat. Thank you so much, guys. I do appreciate your time. Um, and I'm going to turn this call back over to our one and only visionary, our educator, our other um, I should say movement if they're on the line, if they have anything else that they want to say before we close out this call. Once again, thank you so much, the trading diva, the FHFX sniper herself, Miss Bonita Brantley. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are excited to be able to add an additional asset to your repertoire, uh, with what you've been able to receive. And now I need you to drop an 888 in the chat. If you are excited to be able to understand how to add some additional weaponry to your amazing opportunity. So now, ladies and gentlemen, and our whole purpose here is to help you become the signal. So no matter what your preferred preference is as far as the asset, whether it's uh, binary options, you know, uh, if it's Forex, uh, indices, whatever the case may be, uh, it is our desire to ensure that if uh, these calls cease, you're still able to feed your family and become the most effective, efficient, excellent, expert, dynamic, proficient trader, master trader on the planet, on the universe. So if that is you, then let's celebrate the addition to the expertise of Ms. Brantley Byer, giving her an 888 in the chat. If you are excited about the simplicity of HFX Simplified. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely excited. This is has been International BYB Cash Out Day in tribute to our very own Trade Whisperer. And ladies and gentlemen, I saw so much activity in that chat today with 777s and so many people. Uh, uh, breaking down and, and having those 777 days. So I am jacked out of my mind from the front to the back. This is the largest economic empowerment movement in the history of mankind. And for those of you who are with us, listen, we need you to really, really understand that this is the year of transformation. We're transforming our hearts. We're transforming our minds. We're transforming our communities, our places of fellowship uh, and everything else. And it all starts on the inside of our heart and our mind. Now, I'm simply saying to you, stay committed, stay plugged in, and we know what the results will be. 
uh, 12 months from now, uh, six months from now, 20 days from now, 21 days from now, you will have the opportunity to expand your horizon, expand your coast. So with that being said, if it be the Lord will, we will see you at 5 a.m. for our profit call. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I salute you. I applaud you. So with that, this will officially conclude this call, and we will see you at 5 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. God bless, and have a wonderful evening.